What I'm doing is all of the people that exist here, this is for them. Mm. And the moment they realize it like that, even that doctor, the person who's over at CERN, the moment they get some metaphysics because somebody say, hey, what do you know about she legit? Like, actually, there's this guy <laughs> and they start yeah. listening to that and they happen to catch synchronistically celestial mechanics. And they're almost on their way to sleep, listening to the last bits of that hour and 59 minutes of whatever I'm delivering. And then it just clicks. Yeah. And then they realize, Eureka, I'm actually sitting on a powder keg for energy harvesting. Let me show you energy harvesting. There's lights all around us. Yeah. Like even when somebody shines a light, turns on a the light, there's power coming out of that light. That's why you can put a light, a flashlight over the top of a, a, a solar power calculator and it will use that flashlight's power like it's like it's the sun's power because it's just turning light into energy. Yeah. So since there's all this light around us, I'm not even talking about solar power. We could actually harness or harvest all this energy all day. So this is like, and these are simple applications, but because, you know, they say, hey, you know how they say, do you got a guy in there? Because we don't have our guy in there, our woman in there, this metaphysical person that also has that degree to know, hey, when we synthesize Aluta Crocus, Synthococcus in Costa Rica, and we took the last strains of that, didn't it exhibit a tetrahedron and oct octahedron pattern? Uh, son, mm. Yeah, Cindy, let me take a look. Oh, yeah, it did. Well, according to the Pythagorean law, this is actually not doesn't exist. What are we dealing with here? Actually, Ted, I think it's a septahedron. What does this mean? It means that we're wrong. You know, and it's like when you and then then that same person, because, of course, they're going to be like they're going to have to just be quiet for a while and just leave it as fringe and to be published in the paper at the end of the year. But if that person keeps going this could be the way out for everybody. Now you see why everyone in the past, as far as the elders were concerned, had a vested interest in making sure that people awake their uniqueness mm -hmm. because it was not only our way out, it was our way in. No unique beings can get into this world without a unique vessel to come through. Yeah. We'll just call it the higher self. The higher self of us, our higher self is very dynamic. So if we don't become dynamic, it can't come here. Why? <laughs> it ain't gonna change places. Like, sure. like, what would you be dealing with? And actually, I've seen examples of what you deal with when you bring a powerful being into a limited space. It ain't happy. Mm -hmm. And so why would you be? There's a limitation now. You just came from the limitless. So that's why the world doesn't get so much of that because it's it's toil right and that's the that's the working in the garden when you come in here you incarnate you take on the body and thorns and thistles and you yeah. start sowing in the field because it, you know it reaps thorns and thistles because you be talking about the the main thing to blow open the entire thing and people looking at you like you're the antichrist <laughs> it's like well that <laughs> this is not the reception i was actually going for guys uh I was just trying to help us. You know, yeah. it's like the reception is totally different. Then meanwhile, some idiot gets up there, 5 million views. You know, it's like, wait a minute. Yes, look, yeah. and then look, 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 look. <laughs> then they give him a reward, like the stars on Hollywood, for screwing everybody's mind up. <laughs> like, yeah. this is when we should have known. Like, if you were talking to an elder, they'd be like, yeah. If they're doing that in there, you need to be aware of where you are. And that's why I feel like yeah. this is kind of like a time machine that's crash landing. You wake up, you come yes. out the pod. And you're thinking everything gravy like you over the unified field and you're back in the universe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so that's why it's an adventure. There's different ways to articulate this. And none of them will be wrong when you're obeying the actual blueprint of the reality. And we can spin the wheel different ways. That's actually the spiral that's on the back of our head. And the spiral that's on your fingertip, that's your own unique spin right there. So it was like, they see, they think that this stuff is just so like, I, uh, yes, my unique spin. No, your unique spin. This is out there. My aura. I saw it on Curly and Photography. No, your fingerprint, your back of yes. your head. If you yes. want to get to the origin <laughs> point, be able to visualize in your mind where the point is on the tip of the spiral on your head. Even if I asked you right now, where's the spiral? Not you personally, but anybody. Where's the spiral on your head at? Touch the center point. They'd be like, Shit, let me go get the mirror. So they have yeah. no recollection what they're literally saying. They have no recollection or bearing of where they are. Mm -hmm. 
Because when you get into the high vibratory frequencies, that's one of the things when you finally are not in there just for the healing, you start realizing it's like, yo, is something going on with this point right here in the tip of my head? But this is what I was saying. That's the exploration then. Yes. You know, now we got to figure out stuff that we we know, but we don't know. It's just, it's strange. It's paradoxical. And that's what makes it such an adventure. But it ain't fun when you're on the adventure by yourself. Like, I ain't never seen no good. This ain't, you know, Goonies wasn't only one guy. Yeah. It wasn't just Chunk. <laughs> so what's happening is it's like this disconnection. And that's why we became the bridge. It's not just ambassador training, come and learn how to make money, whatever. It's not just secret energy, open source spirituality. It's not that just by itself. It's. We create an organic grid and a bridge. What they said yeah. that we wouldn't be able to do, we've already done. What most people think you'll get killed for, I've done and then some more stuff and still no death. Not to yes. mention death is only the beginning. Like really right now, like I just will have to see it from what I've really experienced. And that's what I'm working to give everyone, working to encourage them to do is just go and uh, get into the experience. Take some of this knowledge, realize that there's a reason why you think that the way that you think, if you don't believe that is actually true, that is perfectly normal. They're not going to want to excite this potential in you at any point in time. They are always trying to keep your thermometer at a certain level of a temperature so you won't blow your top. There's always a hindrance towards your energetic potential because most people just don't have minerals like uh, speaking of she legit i guess she legit was like raising its hand the whole conversation when you have the minerals like they talked about in the matrix you're you know you're a battery neo okay you know this is the rough way of putting it the body is electromagnetic and if you know anything about electromagnetics if you just go and study your electronic class real fast and figure out how do you just go google how's a battery made you'll find that it needs those minerals in order to exchange those poles those ions and etc and all that is in human speak for us is our minerals inside our body and if we thought that centrum was if a mineral that was anywhere near capable of being put into the body we were fooled by that commercial of the one a day these yeah. particles on these vitamins are so big, you may, they just pass right through, they, they go right into the system and they just, they go right out because there's nothing that the body can actually do with them. So when you're dealing with something like she legit, what she legit is, is like the slag for those who don't know about it, since we talked about it, it's basically the slag that comes off of a mountain when it's accumulating all those minerals over that period of time. And then it's harvested. And then you have a profile of 80 something minerals. There's nothing like that in the world, except for some of those poisonous trace mineral drops that that Utah company be selling. So what I'm saying is, is that that's where a lot of our energetics also magnesium. See, but remember, this sounds like a lot when people are focused on the reality and not themselves. Magnesium. I've got to do a video. I already put it together. My guy has made some kind of miracle. This guy cured himself from cancer twice with this element. And it's just because they already issue health concerns a long time ago about magnesium deficiency yeah. and how there's a concern that we're not getting enough magnesium inside of our body because it's not anything. You can't eat magnesium and then like, you know, take a magnesium pill. It's a diuretic. Most of it's mm -hmm. coming right back out once it hits the gut. You take magnesium in through the skin. Yes, so this yes. cream, you rub it on the skin and you go lay out in the sun, you may come out like a Nisut Bitti, <laughs> a pharaoh. You just like, man, what the hell's yeah. happening with him? Shit, he's, he's turned himself into a solar panel. Look, man, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's just unlocking your mind for one moment to allow it to peer into the beautitude. If you just had some simple coating that you were rubbing on your skin with this magnesium and maybe some monatomic gold yeah. and you go sit in the sun, you entire, that's the largest organ in your body would literally become a panel for charging. So the reason why I, I can keep going, like ideas are nothing. It's yeah. man and woman power to push those ideas into the reality. Like when we said we we're going to create the Fiaco, when I said I was going to create it, I wasn't lying. Like there's one, there's one sitting in the picture behind me. So yeah. the thing is, is though, it's like, but there's a lot of steps that you got to go through. I didn't have, I mean, I knew what was going to happen, like what I wanted to create, but I didn't know anything about the field of manufacturing mm -hmm. and all those other arenas, because after all, that's not spiritual. When you think about it, like you start talking about manufacturing and things like, well, but brother, I want to talk about the spiritual stuff. I don't want to talk about the money thing and the, 
it all connects because again if if i can't if i can't get all those things and and live my life the way that i need to live my life and assist as many people as i i need to assist especially those family members we all got family members they keep calling hey you know, I was listening to what you said the other day, and I really understand what you're saying, baby, you know, and I really am working on, you know, the whole thing, what you were telling me about Jesus. But listen, do you got $200? <laughs> and it's like they don't have the luxury of being able to go metaphysically into anything and leave the island that they've been stranded on for a long time so they can go off on this journey with you. You don't even know where you're going. You're even telling them there's no end. <laughs> They're like, okay, <laughs> you go. And this yeah. is really what's happening. It's like, but see, it all gets demystified when people see the people doing it and they're working, working. That's all yes. that people are looking for. They're like, well, okay, well, I'll come over to the spirit text when I see someone get a check and they post that thing. So that's what we do then. You know what I mean? It's like every single aspect, we're not looking at it like, I guess initially when I first came into this, I got rid of right away that just because I had something amazing to say, that mean that I deserve the audience. Mm. And I experienced that in the, in the roughest ways, yeah. but it just put me to a point of realizing that actually this is about you. This is about your own motivation and, and growing completely, maturing yourself to realize what we're talking about here when you're talking about assisting other people and where those motives really are. Let's trace those motives. Ah, somebody said you should, you're, you're a jerk and you should be burning in hell. Why does that bother you? It's like, ah, because you believe everyone's supposed to like what you're saying. Ah, you're into this for you. So, you know, all of those different things. Then you grow through that. You know, it's like, you're, it's just like, this is what I call the invisible college. All of us are being like schooled by a master elder that talks to us as if it's us. <laughs> and it's mm. like, and that's good enough. And then now we have, you know, other brothers and sisters coming in with their own aspects and stories of things. And so this is getting interesting, you know, and we got forever. So it's not like uh, there's a big <laughs> rush here to, you know, make what happened beside what we can do together. And so yeah. that's why I'm motivated by this whole movement. That's why I'm jumping on this phone call today and uh, making sure I, I continue to share this message. It always rejuvenates me to build with people such as yourself who are interested in, in, in uh, continuously expanding themselves and realizing the, this connection between everything and then also building bridges to things that people don't think are connected to what we're experiencing.